Okay. Hi, my name is Lizzy, and I go to St. Agnes School. I'm also a cheerleader at St. Agnes High School. Good morning, my name is Rebecca Usello. Um, my daughter Isabella, she wanted to speak today, so give her that opportunity. I wanna thank you for the opportunity as well to hear our testimony. Um, we're here today, obviously, to show our support for um, Bill 478. I am a public school teacher. Um, Isabella um, attends a private school. Our son, who is in high school, attends a public school. Um, so our, um, I feel like our situation is kind of unique in the fact that we're a, a house divided. When Isabella was three years old, we had the opportunity to send her to early intervention at our local public school. We, in fact, did choose to buy our house in the neighborhood that we did because of the public school. Those three years of early intervention were fantastic. Uh, she was in an inclusive classroom. Uh, the teacher was fantastic, um, and she did a lot of learning. We were really excited to find out that she could stay in that elementary building, kindergarten through fourth grade. Um, we thought we made a good investment in buying a house in that neighborhood. Um, the kindergarten year for her was very challenging. Our first parent-teacher conference, the teacher told me that she was academically inferior. Um, she, has, she had an IEP. Um, the teacher was always looking for ways to get her out of the classroom because she was not um, on the same level as her peers. So they pulled her out with a paraprofessional um, who was not <coughs> certified to teach. Um, her adaptive PE class, which they insisted that she be in, included the PE coach and not her peers. In the cafeteria, standard long tables um, that she could not pull up to. She had to pull up to the end. And then she was a hazard because she's blocking the hallway, or the, the aisleway, excuse me. Um, probably most concerning for Izzy herself is the lack of accessibility to the playground. Uh, the track that the kids walk, uh, there's no way that she can get to it because it's all grass and gravel. Uh, she likes to play basketball, and there were steps going down to the basketball court. Um, her teacher thought that she would be happy enough to sit either in the grass or in her wheelchair playing with bean bags during recess while the rest of her uh, peers played. Uh, we had several meetings with her teacher, her principal, district level officials, and they all assured us that they were making modifications, and we believed them. We had a meeting at the end of the school year. Uh, they invited us in, asked us to give suggestions. We had 11 different suggestions, and they said that 10 of them could easily be done before school started back up in August. We also asked at that time that she be retained in kindergarten because she had not mastered the skills needed. They refused to retain her. They said they could catch her up in first grade. As a junior high public school teacher, I know that you can't catch up. And I also know that IEP students are not retained, but they were unwilling to work with us in that scenario. Um, a couple weeks before she was to start first grade, we got a call from the director of St. Agnes Elementary in Springfield. Um, the director and I had taught in public school together um, before she had become the director of St. Agnes Elementary. Uh, she said, I had confided in her some of my concerns with public school. She said there was an opening in kindergarten if we wanted to put Izzy there, and uh, we said yes, because there had been no accommodations that had been made at our local public school. Um, the day after we enrolled Izzy, they built a ramp to the uh, playground. They had built a ramp in the basilica so that she can participate in mass. They have um, round tables so that she can sit anywhere she wants to in the cafeteria. She has compassionate teachers, she has um, friends and families um, that are very tight-knit, and even though we are not a Catholic family, they have embraced us as one of their own. Um, her teacher modifies work for her. She does not have an IEP. She's not pulled up for anything. She's 100% inclusive in her classroom. Um, our, my son could not be here today because he is um, he's a freshman. He's getting ready to go to Alabama. Um, he's part of the JROTC program at Ozark High School. They are going to nationals in Alabama tomorrow morning. Uh, his team competed a couple weeks ago in St. Louis and won first in the state. This is not an opportunity he would have in a private school. And we're okay with that. 
um, public school offers JROTC, that's the track that he wants to be on, and we support that. Uh, but public school is not a good fit for Izzy. Um, I'm a public school teacher, like I said. Um, currently, I work full time. I have two part time jobs so that I can assure that we pay her tuition on time. Um, I would I would do it no matter what, but it would be really nice to have um, an educational scholarship um, to lessen the worry of the, the financial piece. Um, again, I want to thank you for the opportunity to um, show our support for this bill.